Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 319 MKS. This is a great floor plan. It's very reminiscent of a fifth wheel, the way it's laid out. You're going to love it. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. So one of the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is your power tongue jack. This really simplifies the process of connecting and disconnecting to the tow vehicle. You simply touch a button that will raise and lower the front end of your trailer, which of course makes it very easy to hook up to the tow vehicle, especially with a lot of the weight distribution hitches that are out there. Also, you have a light on there, so if you do want to see at night, you can just go ahead and flip that guy on. Right behind the power tongue jack is a place for your battery box. You'll also notice, notice right there is a battery disconnect. That's really cool too. So that way when you're done camping for the season, you can just turn the disconnect, it will kill all power to the coach. One of my favorite parts about the Sprinter though is this beautiful fiberglass front cap. And look what they've done. They've taken your two 30 pound propane tanks that are unsightly. Instead of putting the big black box on like you normally see, they actually integrated it into the front cap, giving it a very unique and fresh look so I love the front end on here you know not only does it look great but it also is better insulation and less chance for any kind of water intrusion so love the front end of the Sprinter let's come around to the side here open this up you will see its magnetic latch if you take a look right in there now this is not a huge storage space but they do make up for it around the back and you will see what I mean in a little bit also there are TV connections in here so if you do want to hook up a TV you can certainly do that too Right here's the power awning, nice large power awning. You can see that spans quite a distance. Very easy to use, touch button that rolls out, same thing to roll back in. One of my favorite parts about the way this is set up is if you take a look underneath the awning, it's not the world's largest awning by any stretch, but you don't have any vents here or anything to contend with either. So that way you can easily set up all your chairs right here, you're not going to get hot air blown on you. And um, when that uh, awning is all the way out, if you notice in the heads there's speakers. So the speakers will play right down on you too rather than blasting out at your neighbors. So that's really cool. LED light strip, you can probably see that there as well, that way you don't have to get up there and hang up all your Christmas lights really just simplifies the process. Also there is an electrical outlet here so if you do want to plug anything in uh, again great place to put a table you don't have any vents so if you want to put you know food out here with a crock pot or a blender whatever else you want you can certainly go ahead and do that very easily. Another great thing about Sprinter is this unit is four season capable. Sprinter has gone above and beyond and taken that extra step to actually have their units tested down to zero degrees to ensure that your tanks and lines don't freeze on you so you can have that extra sense of security knowing that these units have been tested at those uh, cold temperatures getting into the sprinter is very easy you will notice three steps there they are aluminum steps as well so that way they won't rust and corrode on you the rubber strips on there help get you uh, help get grip especially if it's been raining or the morning dew and you also have the foldable easy grab handle as well so you can easily climb into the coach Let's come back a little bit further and shoot underneath here. If you take a look, you will see, well, one of the rims are aluminum. <laughs> the reason is this one is actually having some work done. Uh, so that is the spare tire that's on there. However, normally they are both the very nice aluminum rims, so you don't have to worry about them rusting up on you. Uh, also, this unit does have the correct track alignment system on there, which is a little yellow plate. Now what that does for you is it saves you a lot of time and money on the maintenance side of things. It's actually been proven that over time your axles can become misaligned, in which case you start getting uneven tire wear and lots of other issues. And in order to normally correct that, you have to cut the axles and re-weld them. The correct track alignment system makes it a heck of a lot easier. You bring it in, we make a couple of adjustments, and you're back on the road. So uh, that, again, is a very big benefit. If we come around to the back side with me here, you will notice something right down there. That is actually your power stabilization jacks. The control for it's over here, uh, but you have power stabilization jacks in the front and the back. Something that's really neat, this unit does come with the Camp Easy system, and with that, it's a little handheld remote. You can control the stabilization jacks, you can control the slides, as well as the power awning and the LED light underneath that awning. You can do all that from right out here, which is really cool. So that way, if you are in a tighter spot, you can go ahead and hit that remote, open the slides up, open the awning up, make sure you're not going to hit anything. Right on the back, you have the uh, diamond plate covering on the bumper, which is neat. So that way, uh, not only does it give it a nice look, but one extra layer of protection on there. And this, of course, is where the spare tire normally sits. Um, 
but obviously, as I said, it is currently on the coach. Right there are your inlets for your satellite and cable as well. And if you come around to the uh, off-door side here, one of the things you will notice is this guy right here, detachable 50 amp power cord on there. Right over here is the black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, that's pretty handy. Rather than having to take a hose and dragging it through the entire trailer and putting it down the toilet when you're done camping to wash out that black tank, this simplifies the process. Now all you have to do is take that same hose, hook it up right here, that black tank has sprayers built in, it'll just wash it right out for you. So that definitely helps break down camp when you're all done. Right over here is a spray port, so if you want an outside shower, boom, there it is. Gives you that outside water access, of course, city water connection right there. And then this is what I mentioned a little bit earlier when we were up front. Uh, this guy just pops right open. You can see the magnet on there to stick it up. And then take a look in there. Big storage area. This is cool too. It actually comes with this table. So um, if your campsite doesn't have a table, now you do. Or as I mentioned, we were on the door side. If you want a place to set up, you know, a buffet outside, you can set this up right by the door, put crock pots on it, have a nice little buffet, whatever you want. But again, that is a huge, nice extra storage area right there. All right, that'll wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Sprinter 319 MKS. This particular model is in the pumice interior. So as you will notice, very large open floor plan. You have dual opposing slides here really opening it up. But let's start off on our door side slide right over here at the freestanding table and chairs. So you notice they do give you four chairs so you can have the whole family sit around there or friends and you also have extra storage underneath the seats. Large windows all the way around let in a lot of natural light during the day and then you have LED lights up top for at night. Also in this slide you will see very comfortable dual theater seating. Uh, these do both recline. I also have a cup holder there in the middle for any beverages. Along the back wall is a tri-fold sofa. Not only is this comfortable to sit on, but it's also the most comfortable type of sleeping sofa you can have in an RV. The reason is, you use the actual cushions of the sofa to sleep on. You can see this one here, as well as this one right back here. So it's nice and thick. You don't have to have a little thin mattress and have a bar across your back. You don't have to worry about waking up on a deflated air mattress. So definitely a great extra sleeping space. Also, flanking the sofa on both sides, you have very large end tables as well as plug-ins. So if you need to plug in a tablet or laptop you can do that. Now the reason you have large end tables like that is because this is an extra wide body. This is a hundred inches wide rather than your standard 96. Now four inches may not seem like a lot but when you're talking about the width of an RV it does make a big difference. You also have windows all along the back here again letting in a lot of natural light and LED lights up top. You can see right up here you have excellent storage, the decorative glass on there, so great storage going all the way across. And then right here, straight across from your theater seating is the entertainment center. And as I mentioned, we were outside. This is something you see a lot in fifth wheels. This design, this floor plan of having entertainment straight across from theater seating with the couch in the back. And they do it because it's a good design. It's a good setup. Right here is your 40 inch LED TV. You'll also notice you have a sound bar under here for superior sound quality. So if you want to spend some time inside on a rainy day, you can certainly enjoy it. Then right underneath you have extra storage area there and large extra storage down below with an additional plug-in there. Then as we move a, a little bit further up into the coach you enter into the kitchen and galley area. Starting right here you can see the stainless panels. This is a seven cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo. You'll notice that you do have a guard along these fins. You don't have to worry about anything getting cut. Nice lighting in there as well. Uh, not only does it look nice, it's also very functional. It runs off both LP and uh, electric and has automatic switch over. So if you are running it off LP, as soon as you plug it into shore power, automatically switches over to electric for you, saving you on the propane gas. Now also when you have the dual opposing uh, slides like this, it allows for a large kitchen. Take a look at all this countertop space you have in here. A ton of prep space, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and start with the sink. It does have a sink top cover, so you can definitely utilize that for prep space, or you can always take it off, flip it over, and use it as a cutting board. Now the reason I say flip it over is because that way your knife marks are all right here, so when you flip it back over, it stays nice and beautiful. 
American stone cast double bowl sink. And a lot of people when they see this think, oh, well I want stainless. I'm here to tell you this is actually an upgrade over stainless steel sinks. Uh, most people think stainless steel, you think of what you're putting in your house, which is in, you know, a lot of times a really thick gauge, very nice. Those are your thousand dollar stainless steel sinks. That's not what they generally put in RVs. American stone cast, however, is very durable. It doesn't scratch as easy and it doesn't burn. So definitely an upgrade over your standard stainless. Also, you'll see a high rise faucet here and that is a pull out faucet as well, making it nice and easy to wash dishes. Uh, LED light right over here, again, giving you that extra lighting. Uh, two USB ports there, so if you need to plug in some cell phones, you can do that. And you'll also notice a plug in there. So if you have any other appliances you need to plug in, you can do that too. Great storage up top here. You actually have three areas you can reach. You have another door off to the side there. And then nice extra pantry space here. Also, if we take a look right above the island, this is pretty cool too. You have some directional lighting here and a nice big skylight. So during the day, that really lets in a lot of natural light. Let's go across the way right over here. Um, so if you notice, you do have good countertop space right there, extra plug-in, perfect place for a coffee maker in my opinion. You'll of course notice the microwave here as well. The weight is on there, 8,280 pounds, but stainless microwave, stainless hood with both light and a vent. Atwood three burner cooktop, the front one is high output, and then you have your oven underneath for any baking. Also underneath the oven, you'll see a nice large drawer right here, which is great for pots and pans, and then a, a additional bank of three full extension drawers there. Back on the other side here, again, you once again have good storage. This is your drop down tray underneath your sink. Full extension drawer here. And then underneath, open this up for you, you can see all the additional storage you get here. And please note underneath the sink, that is a very large storage space. So you do have plenty of room there for a trash can. All right, that'll pretty much wrap it up for the kitchen area. Let's head right out here. We'll make our way into the bathroom. Uh, before we do though, one quick thing. This right down here, again, extra storage area right there, fully utilizing the space. Also, right outside the bathroom here, of course, this is your uh, control panel. You will see all your tank monitoring system on there, as well as uh, your water heater, water pump, slides, everything you need. Now, I also talked about the Camp Easy remote. This is exactly what I was referring to. This guy right here is what allows you to open those slides, the awning, and control your stabilizer jacks. Right here is your thermostat. This does control both the AC and the heat. Let's head on in into the bathroom. So right down in the corner here, you'll see a foot flush lever toilet. You can see you do have plenty of leg room all the way around. I can sit here. You can see it is nice and large. Also a porcelain toilet, which makes it a lot easier to clean. Then right here is the Neo Angle shower. I love the doors they put on here because they're in a roller track. When you close it, it makes sure all the water stays in the shower pan, doesn't leak all over the floor. But you do have some good shelving space in there, hand wand as well. And as far as height, when I stand in here, I'm six foot, you can see you have plenty of headroom here, especially with that skylight, which lets in a lot of natural light during the daytime and gives you additional height. Then right over here, this is mirrored medicine cabinet there. You can see additional storage. Uh, sink and countertop, of course, are outlet there. And then additional storage underneath the sink. Also, as you can see, there are two entrances and exits into the bathroom, one to the main living area, the other one into the bedroom. Speaking of, let's head on in and take a look. The bedroom of the 319 features a full residential 60 by 80 size queen bed, and you will also notice the storage underneath. As I mentioned, we were outside. You can access the storage both from in here as well as the door outside. Then on the sides, you have some shelving there, so it's perfect if you want to set a cell phone or a glass of water there. Additional storage up top and again, an LED light. Of course, this is all in a slide, so it's a full walk around bed. Then up here at the front of the RV, you will notice you have good shelving space, a hanging rod going all the way across here as well, and excellent floor space too. Also, if you are one that wants washer and dryer, you do have washer and dryer hookup in there, so you are able to fit a combo unit there. Uh, mirrored wardrobe doors here as well, so if you wanna see yourself after you get dressed, you can definitely do that. Then also right over here, you'll see very large shelving space. Then I like this too, right underneath here, they have a big open area, which is perfect. If you need uh, to put clothes, you, you know, your dirty clothes, you can put a clothes basket in there and go ahead and toss them right down there. 
Lastly, at the foot of the bed, you will see a nice dresser. You can see these are uh, full extension drawers, large drawers here, and then some smaller ones over here, perfect for socks and whatever else you need to put in there. Large window at the foot of the bed as well, and you will notice right up here you have um, TV hookup. So if you want a TV before uh, watch TV before bed, you can go ahead and have that as well. And then here is a fan. You can take a look at that right there. But this is also pre-wired for AC. So if you do want a second AC in this coach, you can certainly have one installed. That's the reason we have the 50 amp cord. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Sprinter 319 MKS. This one is in the pumice interior. If you're looking for a high-end travel trailer and you want that layout that you have in a fifth wheel, but you know you just can't tow the fifth wheel, or you know you really want that, uh, like I said, you want it in the travel trailer floor plan, this is the one. Having the theater seating straight across from the TV with the couch in the back, huge kitchen space in that island, this is really one you want to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of this unit, or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe so you can be sure to see all of our future content. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.